Hello everybody, it's a Cinemat Haven here. Um I don't know about you guys, but I am a little bit disappointed in what I'm seeing. Uh nothing really specific, it's just this update kinda seems bad. Alright, for starters, we that for whatever reason they love to absolutely demolish Italian reloaders. Also, um if you guys haven't noticed, the store page is really confusing you got to click down multiple times and then click up and it's just it is a mess to move through i don't know why they're changing things that worked in the past but yes yeah, so you go all the way right it's not going to continue shuffling you can ltrt it too but using your d-pad it it's kind of like if you're trying to scroll down it's going to skip pages and yeah that's a little annoying so it's like ooh, well, i want to get that and then boop uh oh i messed up i done goofed um Okay, so starting off, Gladiator season. Um, Gladiators chose a female protagonist as the uh, crew commander. I didn't buy the Ultimate Season Pass because it has a Cold War tank. Honestly, I think that uh, Season Pass should not obtain tanks, in my opinion, just because it it's making things just way too complicated and extremely toxic. Um, AVREs, they're broken. I haven't been playing the game a whole lot the past couple of days, and this season I'm probably not going to be uploading a whole lot either, or really doing anything, because I, I'm about done. Like, 100% done. Um, I quit playing Star Trek Online three years ago because they started to get really greedy on money grabs and everything else. Basically, they, the, one of the biggest money grabs they did was, um... Every single ship that you bought inside the store prior, you spent $60, $50 a ship, and then they started to charge an extra $15 to upgrade that ship, and the only way to stay competitive was by buying that upgrade token, because it unlocked a new console plus a new perk slot on your ship, which allowed you to have 6 perks rather than 5, and then it allowed some ships to have 13 consoles rather than 12, and that one extra console makes a real big difference. We're talking... And the range of 20% damage resist on some builds, or even an additional 100% um, health regen over the course of a minute. Like, big changes. Um, yeah. Uh, this morning I was going to make the video, but they did not have the Kentaro uh, CC45 actually updated in the uh, store page whenever I first logged in. So I was kind of like, that sucks. Oh well, things happen. Season Pass, it's another joke. Um, more tanks. They're doing the Bullerophon, uh, the M48. Yeah, the M48A2 Patton. This thing's actually horrible. I don't recommend this. The Centurion 5-1 Rack. Um, nice to see, but they could have did the Mars. This thing sucks. Look at your high explosives. 135, 160. Um, 240 damage, not to mention your hatch. This tank is not that strong. Uh, this is the one that I told people to avoid back during WWE. It was the Undertaker. And believe me, it's going to undertake you and make you waste gold. And also make you not feel like you're doing super well and set the queues. Um, one thing about it, though, that's nice is, in fact, the module damage. Its high explosives do have enhanced module damage from, I think it's 133. Where is the module damage on the page here? Ah, here it is, 122 and then 200. So it's actually comparable to a 150 millimeter caliber gun in terms of module damage. If you can get those HEs to pin, thing is that that requires you to load HE, and they do no damage. So you're better off loading standards and premium. Speaking of which, I do think it's a heat round. Yeah, it's AP and then heat. So that's not bad. But one thing that I wanted to jump into today is the fact that they don't want to bring in anything good. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to make things work properly. They don't. They're they're not doing anything right in my eyes, and I'm about ready just to be done. Just because there is nothing that they're doing that stands out to me as good for the game or anything. Um, one thing that I can, you know, clarify up on is Twitch. I, I stopped streaming on Twitch on World of Tanks because there's no incentive to do so. Un unless you're already pre-established on Twitch or you're streaming every single day for months and months and months and months and months and months and months, and months you're not going to see many new people. 
Now, everyone that does watch Twitch, you guys are awesome. Thank you. You know, like people who do watch me on Twitch, you're, you guys are awesome. Thing is, is that World of Tanks, it's kind of feeling like a dead end. The beginning of the end. Um, if World of Tanks wants to actually make this game worth making content for, Twitch drops. Twitch drops is one of the simplest things that they can do to bring in a lot of new creators and a lot of older creators to have them come back because it gives people incentive to want to watch a streamer. It gives people incentive to go want to watch YouTube. Thing is, is that there's only so many giveaways that they do on um, YouTube because, well, if, if you have a community of 15,000 people, one giveaway is not exactly that generous, in my opinion. So, uh, there's that. I mean, me, you know... You guys know my average it's about 200 views a video and sometimes i'll give away three four tanks throughout an entire season by just simply giving them out the people that have added me in game um however i'm not going to be doing that anymore because i i'm essentially done spending money on the game this to me is ridiculous so starting off progetto mod 40 um yeah it's the progetto 46 let's take a look at the reload let's go down here, we're going to be looking at 13, 15, 17, 19. Rosarante. This is a heavy tank. We're going to be looking at a brain fart of an amount here. Why? Okay, 15, 20, and 25. Um, now, let's take a look at the Centauro. So, your first shell you load, as I'm blind as a bat here, depending on which gun that we have 4.66 so that's 2000 here we go here it is uh 29 25 19 13 so let's go back to progetto we have 13 15 17 19 centauro 29 25, 19. I need to look something up real quick. Okay, this says they're in competence times 10. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kintaro, your first shell apparently takes 29 seconds. That's a lie. That should be the lowest. This should be switched and flopped. Uh, because if we bring up the Brigetta, we got 19, 17, 15, 13. We got 13, 19, 25, 29. Which means your first shell loads the fastest, not your last shell. So it essentially, right here, it's saying... Clip out, people. It's the benefit. This is uh, misleading. Um, but the reloads are god-awful. Uh, back to Progetto. Your last shell, 13 seconds, is not bad. Okay? This is not bad. 13 seconds. However, the longest is going to take 19. Clipping out's not going to be bad. thing is about the um, Kentaro, well, Centaro, is that if you even shoot your second shell, it's... It's just as bad as the final shell as the Progetto. Okay? And then, to put the icing on top, this tank is never going to suffer. It's never, it's never going to have a bad win rate. And the reason why? Single fire gun. That has a faster reload at 8.9, which is 0.1 off of the E5. Okay? And it, it's 0.9 seconds off of the uh, M48 um, A2 tier 10 that has an eight second base reload that gets a 5.5 5.6 5 second 5.7 second reload this thing is absolutely nasty but it, it's just that the fact that they gave it a single shot weapon it it's never gonna it's never gonna look bad um why didn't they give the um rasarante a single shot weapon that was absolutely ridiculous that was uh unmatchable by anything else not to mention our single shot reload at 8.9 seconds is actually faster than PC's first shell, their final shell, at 9.59. So now we have a tank that has a better individual fire rate than PC with a single shot gun. And with that single shot, guess what? You swap into high explosives, that single shot's going to be so much more versatile. Um, PC, uh, we got one gun. Console, uh... We got two guns. I'm getting real sick of seeing this because it's it just ruins the autoloader. Um, why doesn't the Basante C45 have a single shot that has a better reload than its um, PC counterpart? Do you know how irritating that is? 
Um, after I read this and after I went over this update and I went over a couple of things, I realized they don't care. They're adding in single shot variants of the guns that are going to outperform the autoloader variants and it's just going to be nothing but BS. And if you do run the autoloader, the second shell is the worst reload of the Progetto at 19 seconds. Okay, that is ridiculous. Not to mention... 400 meters of view range. This thing is a freaking monstrosity. Along with that, we're looking at 368 still concealment. Uh, well, moving concealment. Um, 368. That's really good. It's not as good as the tier 8 uh, Volk T44-100 that has uh, 346, but it is going to allow that tank to get down to 280 still concealment, which is a really comfortable no number for medium tanks in tier 10. It's not going to be the most concealed thing on the battlefield, but it is going to be capable of doing some really nasty things. Not to mention, 8.9, uh, 8.8, .8, my E5 reloads in 6.42 seconds, which is not bad, okay? Which means that the Centauro is going to be reloading in about 6.6, 6.5 seconds. Thing is, there's a big issue with that. It's right on the border of being able to permatrack and everything else. Not to mention, it's got an AP and then APCR for its ammunition type, and then its high explosives are actually pretty decent, with 60 millimeters of pin, 248 standard pin. Thing is, no one's going to be shooting standards out of this who's going to be playing the tank. Its win rate's going to be through the roof. This is APCR premium. This is going to be the only thing that I'm going to be seeing fired out of this gun. Not to mention, the only gun that's going to be used is the single shot, because it's the most competitive. Its win rate's going to be good, it's never going to get buffed because they're going to stop and say, well, it's it's performing super good. We're not going to do anything about it. Um, I've talked to a lot of super testers, and guess what they have said? Wargaming does nothing with the feedback that they give. They get a week to play with the tank. They can put in their opinion. They can put in whatever they want, but guess what's going to happen? They don't care. They're going to throw it in. So you guys, you know what? This season, it's dumb. It's the beginning of the end. This game is dying thing is it's never going to fully die it's always going to hit that point where they bring in something ridiculously overpowered and then they're going to rotate back and it, it, it's going to go up it's going to go down it's going to up it's going to go down and the reason why it's going to maintain is because it has a big brother that's on pc that is the number one issue that we have um i i don't see a point in creating content for this game anymore or recommending anyone to actually get into content creation for World of Tanks console. There is no viewership. Um, the devs don't care about Twitch. And Twitch is actually a main um, source of viewership. If if they were to add in um, Twitch drops. And actually get people to want to go in and watch Twitch drops. That would be absolutely amazing. But no, they don't. The only thing that they really care about is. Whether or not things are going well for them, or they have things lined up. Um, personally, I'm a little bit just... Yeah, I've been pushed the wrong way too many times. They keep on adding things into the game. They keep on saying that they're going to do stuff. The HE spam is unbelievable. Um, it, it's, it's just getting absolutely ridiculous, and I just don't see a point in continuing. Um, six months ago, I about full-on quit quit the game like legitimately just stopped and then i had some friends convince me otherwise thing is i kind of wish i quit right then and there uh currently my setup is in a state of disarray things are torn apart uh, i haven't been making content i went from day shift back to graveyard uh so i worked a week of days and then i've been a graves for a week now week and two days today will be day number three and uh yeah i've, I've just been super tired and rotating in not many fun ways um so yeah i just haven't i haven't found a reason to play this season um zero stages complete it's been today's the first day of the new season i logged on specifically just to read over the update list and everything else and i saw the centauro and it just made me sick because it's never going to get readjusted it's it's always going to look good because of that one gun they added a gun to it that is super stupid not to mention isn't it a 105 or a one it's a 120 millimeter gun um 
Let's see. Yeah, it's a it's a 120 that has a 29 second reload for its first shell. What in the absolute are they thinking? Seriously, that is ridiculous. Okay, 400 alpha, 29 second reload. Uh, last time I checked, the uh, AVRE reloads in 18 seconds and then hits somebody for 1500. And the time it's going to take you to load your entire clip, you're dead. You're dead. The HE spam's unbelievable. Um, yeah, I don't have much else to say except for I am not playing. And I'm probably done officially done for like a couple of years uh my channel's my channel more than likely i'll be using it to upload um achievements that i do for instance personal records that i beat other things that i go over and who knows maybe one day i'll start catching up and actually doing some editing and posting some nice videos for other games and review other games because world of tanks it's it's over it is just ridiculous what they're doing there's no benefit to play. There's nothing. It is just ridiculous. Um, yeah, they they have no idea what they're doing. They don't listen to feedback from beta testers, from super testers, from anybody. Not to mention, they've denied me access to the super test seven times now. Um, yeah, I suddenly don't care. I, I used to enjoy the game every single day. I used to play it nonstop. I used to do... I, I used to have enjoyment playing the game. But as of recent, that so-called enjoyment has left me, and it's gone. Um, I'm probably going to start streaming on Twitch a lot more. Um, going on there and, I don't know, just streaming whatever it is that I'm doing throughout the day. So, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to follow me over on Twitch and you want to watch me um, stream other content, because I'm telling you now, World of Tanks is just in a state that I, I don't care for it. It's done. There's no reason to continue. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say about that, except for thank you for the time you guys have spent with me. Um, yep. Nothing to say. Artillery changed it. Artillery ruined it. 2.0. Artillery went from being um, one shot. That was just horrid, but the one shots happened every once in a while, and you had 30 seconds in between each time, too. Now you're getting hit for 1,000 damage, or you're getting hit with an AP run for 900 damage in haul down scenarios every single 13 seconds. Tier 10 is super toxic. AVRE is in the game. Type 5 got an HE buff, and uh, PC complained about that HE. Not to mention, they're talking about bringing in the Italian TDs, and, oh, that's something I forgot to mention. Yay. Let's get into this one. So, PC-wise, Minotaur, we're looking at a 23-second reload. Okay, and keep in mind, this is going throughout the entire tech tree. This is something I mentioned inside the Astron Rex video, and there's, there's reasons why I've mentioned this. These tanks are going to be unbalanceable on console unless they bring up every other tank in the game up to par these are going to be absolutely steamrolling lobbies because of the interclip reload for instance we're going to bring them over the console more than likely we're going to be seeing i don't know a 27 second reload but it's not going to change the fact that it's in between shell is eight seconds the way that these tanks perform is you fire off two rounds you start your reload you fire off three rounds you start your reload and guess what? You fire off three rounds, you start your reload, then you just pretend like you can't actually get a shot on the guy for 25 seconds, 23 seconds, depending on how long you're going to take the reload, and then you put two shells into him. Now he thinks, oh, you're on a reload. Well, guess what? I still have three shells left. Not to mention, I reload faster than most tier 8 autoloaders on console. And I hit for 530 alpha. Okay? This is just a tier 10. The tier 8's going to be the same way. They're going to be hauled down. Their reloads are going to be uncomparable. Um, let's look at the tier 8 premium real fast. 
So reload time, we're looking at 34.52 console. This is actually going to be better because we have a perk called rapid loading. Now here's the biggest issue. What tank in game do we have that has 400 alpha in tier eight that has a six sec, six second interclip reload or a six second reload to begin with? The closest thing we get is the TS5 with a 6.7 second reload, which means that whenever this gets dropped into the game, guess what's going to happen? This is going to take the lead in DPM for all tank destroyers in the game, period. The Italian TDs are not ready for console unless they increase the interclip reloads by two seconds each for every single tank. That's the only way that they would actually be able to balance these out according to the way that we have our tanks built on console. Okay, so that's it. You guys, have fun. That's my opinion. I'm done. Just know that. I'm done. I am officially done done. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be making any more content on the game. I'm probably going to be deleting it and completely swapping to other games. And who knows? I might take some classes, start editing for once. Because everything I do is manual. Like, I, everything I do is manually done. Um, yeah, that, that's about it. You guys, have fun. I'm absolutely frustrated and absolutely angry about this. So, yeah. The beginning of the end. That's all it is. For me, that is. I don't know about you guys, but I'm done. I probably won't complete the season. It is. It's garbage. The entire game has gone downhill.